Park RPM Tesla Generation 2 Model 3 Wind Noise Reduction Kit. Check this out. This is super easy to install. It's our biggest seller. We've sold thousands and thousands of these. Now we've improved them, making them out of silicone rubber with a hot splice. And we want to show you how simple it is to go in your average car. Now there is a troubleshooting video at the end of this video that shows you how to get it into a windshield with a small gap. So if you purchase this and your gap is wide like this, this video is super easy. This instructional part is gonna show you how to lay it in the, the normal gaps. If you have a tight gap, you're probably gonna to go to our troubleshooting. And I don't know how many minutes into the video it is yet because we haven't even finished making it. Anyway, four pieces of tape and our kit is, are all you need. And uh, again, this new material is a hollow tubing. It doesn't, it, get hard and cause the windows to crack like people have mentioned on the forums. This is super soft silicone rubber, low durometer, really, really great properties for ozone resistance. So just spread it out on your windshield and let's get started. Now, there's a couple of basic rules to remember. I like to put a piece of tape in each corner, tape the corners down, and then watch how easy this goes in. So on the passenger side, I like to always start, find the seam or the splicing area. It's very, very hard to find. But once you find it, lay it down here in the passenger side. So all we do is just simply put the tubing in, maybe stretch it. Some cars, it'll just lay down in here. Some you're gonna have to pull it because the gaps vary. So this car actually has a tighter gap on the passenger side. So we're not stretching it, we're just pushing it in. So this is securing it nicely. Again, we're laying it down and just pushing the silicone tubing into the channel. Now we're gonna make a turn across the windshield and watch how easy this goes in. This just slides right in with my finger. I'm just pushing it down and inside. I'm gonna go halfway Push it down inside there nicely. You can stretch it to see how it fits inside the channel. Lay down the tape. And now we're halfway across. Come back to the rear window, make the turn, push it down, down, down. Splash it all the way across here and tape it here. So now from a high angle, you can see we're halfway done. We've got half the car finished. The windshield is here. And again, we want this to fill the void to close this vortex where air turbulence builds up and causes wind noise. This is our biggest seller at RPM. And uh, again, this Gen 2 is gonna be even easier to install. And now what we'll do is we're gonna come around the back window. And again, you're just holding your finger down and laying it in. Let it just drop right in the channel and make the turn. Put your tape on here. Look at how nice this tubing fits too. I love the way it looks on these right angles. It doesn't get bunched up like our older version did. All right, so let's continue now. So in my left hand, I've got the tubing. I've got it here and here, and we're trying to get enough material in the channel and let it expand. So you're just pushing it down inside. It's opening up. We're almost to the front. We make the turn here and that's it. That's it. This tension is all you need. It's in perfect. It's all the way down. 
and that's it. Again, you don't want this coming out during car washes and stuff, so you want to always make sure your tension in the front is tight. So if you ever want to lift it up, roll this edge out, make sure it's tight in the front. And the sides can be very loose like this, so you can always get it out if you need to. And if you want to make it tighter, you can always take up the slack around the corners, roll this up, lay this down, super easy. It's a great item, it actually works, with des reducing wind noise by up to nine decibels. Thanks again, RPM Tesla, and if you're having trouble, watch Troubleshooting coming up next. Okay, this is our troubleshooting video in case you happen to have a windshield with a very small gap. Hopefully you don't, and you bought it because of the large gap. Wind noise usually is directly proportional to the front gap on the windshield, but if you did and you want to get rid of the noise and you've purchased it, this troubleshooting video will help. So this is a little bit of a different installation. We need a little water and a little bit of soap to help fill the channel and get some water on the product. A little bit of soap and water, just some laundry, just some detergent, maybe kitchen bath, uh, detergent, it could be any kind of soap. It's just gonna give us a little bit of a lubrication so it'll stretch and it'll bounce back. So like the original video, lay the sides down and make the turns. See the back, just go straight in. The lubrication really makes it easy. Now the front with the gap, you gotta do a little stretching, but you should be able to get it secure. Stretching it and pressing it down in the channel. Once the tubing is thin enough, by stretching it, it drops right in, and then it will expand and it will come back. So it's ex it's stretching, becoming narrower, and then retracting. So now I've got the windshield in about halfway across, and I'm going to come around and continue. All right, now we're gonna finish the windshield. Again, you're gonna stretch it as much as you need to get it in the channel. And with your soap water solution, it helps to relax the silicone rubber and get it to fill up the whole gap. This is probably a good angle to get a nice close up here. It won't just fit down in here on its own. You need to stretch it and slide it. Again, this is for tight windshields only. And watch how it's just, it's moving backwards. It's actually contracting and expanding. And now we're on the corner, okay? So now we'll back up. We'll go back here from a wide angle. And we're gonna slide the back in all the way down. Lay the side here. So I'm laying this, so there's not much tension. And here's the back window and then just let it go here to fill nicely and lay it down. So that's the real solution to a super tight windshield. Make sure you use a little bit of soap and water so the material will not be overstretched. Okay, then simply dry it off. Clean it up, you're all done. And look how nice it fits around all the edges. And make sure it's flush below the glass here. All right, that's it. It's installed. Thanks again, RPM Tesla.